Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. This is episode number 23. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. This week, the theme is apps. What kind of apps do we use that we can recommend uh, for you guys, for you to download on your smartphone, whatever it may be, Android, iOS, and eh, not so much BlackBerry because we need one of us have a BlackBerry, but that's what we're going to talk about this week. So we're going to start it off. I'm going to start off with one of my favorite apps, Viber. Viber is basically free calling and free texting throughout your entire network of friends. Basically, you download the app onto your Android or your iOS device. You can text and picture message now. Mm -hmm. They just recently added picture messaging. And call all your friends with the same telephone number. No need for a username, no need for a sign in. All It just uses your telephone number. So the great thing is once you install the app, there's really no other... It's basically the same interface you already have on yeah. your iPhone or it's Android a, device. It's exactly the same interface, except for they change it to purple because that's their theme. So it's really cool, it's really nice. And for those of you that continue to say, because I have friends of mine who deny me the, the recommendation of telling them, hey, use Viber, they're like, oh, I've already got unlimited. We've how been about, using it for close to two years. Yeah, how close. about stop paying for unlimited and mm -hmm. here's unlimited for free. That's all I'm saying is because it goes through the internet. So if you pay for your unlimited internet, that would be great. But maybe take off the 20, 25, 30 dollars it is, whatever it is for your text messaging. Mm -hmm. And you can use this app and it's great because you can, like I said, text, picture message, and call and you don't have to change numbers. You also the calls, the quality in the calls between a regular phone call to a Viber call, you'll notice. Yeah, there's, and it's really cool, especially when you put on headphones, if you happen to have the Apple headphones or even some of the Android headphones that you get with your uh, uh, phone, hear it in stereo, Yeah, stereo. listen to it in, in 3G, and then listen to it on Viber in a stereo headset, the um, call quality is amazing. I'm, I'm serious, so it's make like sure... It's HX to VHS. Yeah, seriously or Betamax to VHS and then VHS to DVD, whatever it is. But anyway, make sure you check it out online. I'm gonna put up the uh, lower thirds here, Viber.com, V-I-B-E-R. Check them out, it's one of my favorite apps. Use it all the time, trying to cut back on the text messages. So, yep. what do you got next for us? Well, if you didn't know, Rusty and I are DJs. So radio is a part of our life, every day in the car, at home. Now you can take it with you everywhere. Uh, with the iHeartRadio app, I use that one a lot. Even though it is a Clear Channel app, and in the radio business, Clear Channel is the devil. <laughs> but it's the best interface I've seen with a radio app. We'll throw some screenshots here, as you can't see as I'm looking down at mine. But yeah. you can put it on your iPhone or your iPad. I use, uh, I use both. I use this in the car, and I use this one at home. And the interface is beautiful. Um, you'll pull up a station. One of my favorites is Atlanta's Project 961. You know, if you like rock and your rock station in whatever town you're at is crap, <laughs> listen to 961. It's really good. I have a question while you're doing that. Yes. 961. Is that strictly just like Breaking Benjamin, Chevelle, stuff like that without all the old school, uh, I don't know. Mandatory Metallica stuff? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, I may have to change. It's just active rock okay, as, yeah. at its best. Okay. There, there is going to be Metallica, but it's, nah. not, it's not oldies like, you know, you're going to hear um, the new Chevelle song, then you're going to the Journey song. Right. I, gonna be none of that. I'm just saying, one of our local stations, the ones that we used to, or the one we used to work at now does that, has the, yeah, um, I didn't even think about <laughs> the one we used to work at. Uh, Still listen to it in the car as well. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's a good okay. station. Okay, so anyway, moving back on to the app. But as you open it up, you can pick your stations through cities. It can go all the way from Ankrum, Ohio, all the way to Youngstown, Ohio, which is only about this far. <laughs> but that's alphabetically A through Y here. Um, when it first came out, it was just Clear Channel. I got news to about a couple days ago from All Access, which is another forum that I follow that deals in radio is that Cumulus is going to jump on board. So there's, oh, soon, wow. there's soon going to be more stations. Two of the biggest names in radio. Wow. Yeah, the two Cs are coming together. So if you, <laughs> if you love radio and you like me, you just got to have it everywhere, get iHeartRadio and you can, like, even here, you can take it everywhere now. So the only thing that, that they can't do, which I'm assuming because most, uh, all of radio apps are mm -hmm. the same, I would assume that you still can't get actual FM radio if need be, if you don't have an internet connection, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, still no FM radio, but hey, you know. buy an iPod Nano, 
plug in your headphones. But if that station is um, broadcasting online, yeah. then you're all good. That's cool. All right, so moving on to my next favorite app, which actually has just become a recent favorite outside of Instagram, because no, it used to be Instagram, but Hipster is now my new favorite. Basically, it's the same idea as Instagram, where you get the cool little filters and you get to be really, you know, uber cool, you know, being the hipster photographer. Because everybody's a photographer now. Yeah, seriously. Uh, iPhone 4S is top notch on Flickr, but anyway, just saying. Well, it's got an 8 megapixel camera. Anyway, uh, hipster is basically the same idea that Instagram does, but puts it in postcard format. And they kind of give you, and I'll throw some screenshots up here so you can see what it looks like. They give you different films, different filters, different cards, different font, and allow you to buy GPS location. And I actually just emailed some of the developers. Um, right now, it uses your GPS location to get the mainstay of where you're at. So if you're in San Francisco, New York, Los Angeles, whatever, that city will be on the card somewhere. Um, you can't change that right now. So for if you take a picture now and want to change it later, because for instance, I just got back from Romania, and I can't put Romania or Bucharest or anything on these pictures that I want. So it's kind of yeah, it's kind of frustrating. But they said that's upcoming, so in the near future, hopefully that'll be something you can change. So that if you take a picture while you're on vacation and you don't have GPS, like I I didn't have access to internet while out and about, so mm -hmm. I've got pictures I want to do this to. I can't really do it right now, but that is an upcoming feature. Hopefully, talking to one of the developers, so that's awesome. But yeah, just check it out. Uh, it's not it's not an everything person, you know. Every everybody can use it, but it's kind of cool. And I think they have options for actually mailing some of these postcards, actual snail mail postcards. Okay. Kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but just just one of the newer apps out there that I like. So check it out. It's uh, hipster.com. H i p s t e r dot com. I am in by no means promoting any sort of hipster uh, acting people or dressing people. Screw you guys. What do you got? You may soon see some hipster postcards with us for the banner <laughs> in different places. We'll post those up if we do that. <laughs> All right, another app that I guess I can't live without, which is a terrible thing to say because I can live without, but <laughs> really close then. When the iPad came out, the first thing I thought of was the name is terrible. But the second thing I thought was Hey, maybe I can just get all my magazines on here and stop my magazine subscription because you know I got stacks, stacks of magazines in the Keep house. Going. Yeah. <laughs> so after getting the iPad 2, still a horrible name, but there's this app called Zinio, Z-I-N-I-O, and through that I'm able to get all my magazine subscriptions. I mean everything, um, Motor Trend, Men's Journal, even Women Magazine, um, Women's Health, Women's Health. Um, Home magazine, Southern Living, uh, Tech magazines, um, Wired. You can pretty much get all your magazines now in one, one place right here. And you get the iPhone. Like the Heart Radio, I can. I got it on my phone. I've got it on my iPad. Everywhere I go. And the cool thing about it is, which you can't see, but we'll throw up a screenshot here. Is you click the Read tab. Uh. And there, if you have a new subscription, it's going to say. Um, you've got a new magazine, would you like to install it? You click yes, it installs, and there it is. Oh wow. The full magazine, and you flip it that way, you get a full page, and it also has an index on the bottom where you can pick page by page. If you That's just want cool. to go to a certain story, you can just go right to it instead of continuously flipping. Plus being a 10 inch or a nine inch screen uh, for a 10 inch iPad, seeing that at full color like that is like half the magazine. Right yeah, it's no different. Like, the magazine may be a little bigger, but still, Having it all on one place, is, it just gets rid of the clutter. Yeah. So I, oh, yeah. I have a lot less magazine clutter now, and it stores. So your subscription is going to be on here from the first year that you subscribe on Zinio to whenever you decide to unsubscribe. Un so cloud-based storage? I don't know if it's cloud-based. I haven't got a chance to look at that yet, okay. but it... It must be because even on the website, it's got it on there as well. So you can pull up basically once you buy the magazine, you have it. To whenever and you can pull it up from a year. Yeah, from now, until you unsubscribe from right. from the Zinio uh, okay. from your magazine. That's really Which cool. check with your magazine subscription first. Uh, if it doesn't offer a digital option, then you can't. That's yeah. the only thing is it has to um, give you a digital option, which a lot of things are now. A lot of magazines are now. So yeah, especially with Kindle and things out there like that. It's a free app. I really like it. Check it out. All right, moving on to the last app that we think that actually both of us I would say use very often mm -hmm. every day. 
Uh, I don't really use it for, uh, let's see. No, I, I, I use it a lot because I'm 15th in the state, number 518 all together. Mm -hmm. So I can say I'm ranked pretty high in it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you even know what your rank is? No, it's low. <laughs> what we're talking about is Waze, W-A-Z-E dot com. Check it out. It says on their front page right here, Waze, outsmarting traffic together. Basically, it's crowdsourcing traffic. Yeah. Because the idea is everybody's got a GPS, everybody's got their own thing, whatever it is. But let's say Al and I live on the same road, and Al and I work in the same area of town. Let's say Al leaves an hour before I do, mm -hmm. and he hits traffic along the way and says, all right, at this point A, there's traffic and it's slowing down. He hits and reports traffic, or the app may automatically do it for him, just depending on how- Another way's user may have already beat me to it. Exactly. So when I leave the house, I hit drive and I go to work, and it'll say, hey, up along your route, it's point A, either Alan has reported or some other ways has reported that there is some sort of traffic delay and you may be late. So it could be da 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 da, da you know, and it could it will show you pictures if someone took a picture and it's 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 really it's just really great. It's awesome the fact that they're crowdsourcing the traffic. And as of late, the last update for iOS uh, five, which is uh, Waze 3.0, I believe. Mm -hmm. They've upgraded the graphics, looks a lot better, things are easier to get to. It's not on Android as far as the software 3.0 just yet. It is on Android as far as the app. So yes, again, iOS and Android across the platform there. That's you still can download it. E even before the update, it's still good. Yeah, Looking it's out. free. I recommend it highly. Uh, and it, it puts a little fun little factor into it by putting Pac-Man dots on the map. So let's say you're in a neighborhood that nobody has driven around a lot and you, you start collecting points because there's dots on the road. And then during seasons like now, they'll put up uh, candy canes and yeah. presents, just silly little stuff, but it's collecting extra points and getting your way up there. And that's how right now I'm number 14 in the state and number 518 overall. Of course, it's I've also been... saved both of us from traffic tickets because oh, you can yeah. report police. That's a one of the best features it has. And it tells you how many minutes ago it was reported. So let's see if you drive up on one and it says police reported ahead and it tells you, and then you get there and there's not, you can hit not there and it completely removes it from the map. So that's awesome too, because not only are you getting up-to-date information, you can change it if need be. Plus, if you're in a brand new neighborhood, let's say you're building a house or whatever and they're chucking the road, you know, making it for you. You can build that road on the map and build it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you ever find any road edits that need to happen, um, if you ever come across... It's like the Wikipedia of GPS. Basically, yeah, because I mean it does speed traps. If you mm -hmm. ever see traffic cameras that sit behind and watch people run red lights, you can put those on the map. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you can chit chat across, you know, every... You, it's just awesome. There's, there's so much to it. I can't really without showing you and having it. It's, it's cross-platform for iPhone, Android, Blackberry, and Nokia, surprisingly enough. But uh, anyway. That's but, for you, Jay Hubby. Nokia. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you check it out. WAZ.com. I cannot recommend this app more than enough. So just go download it. And like I said, so over the past few minutes, we've talked about our favorite apps. Make sure you check them out. Yeah. I've got Waze.com, Hipster.com, Viper.com iHeartRadio.com, Zinio.com. We're going to have the links below. Also, in the comments, share your favorite apps. Or on our Facebook page, share what apps you can't live without or what you've been using lately. And just let us know. So maybe they're ones we haven't heard of and maybe ones they haven't, you know, other people haven't heard of. Yeah. So we can all just spread the word yeah. around. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again for episode 24 when we get to talk about... 24. Boop. Boop. Just, just stay tuned. We'll give you an update. Thanks. <laughs>